All right, let's take a look at how we calculate a social security tax. So Ramiro got his first job in 2006. In that year, the social security tax was 6.2% of income up to $94,200. If Ramiro earned $73,210 in 2006, how much did he pay in social security tax rounded to the nearest dollar? So some important numbers. 6.2%, 94,200, and of course the earned income of 73,210. Our first step is determine if the individual income is less than or greater than the maximum taxable income allowed under Social Security. So under Social Security, so we are going to compare our individual income to the max for Social Security. So the individual income is $73,210. The maximum is $94,200. $73,000 is less than, oops, wrote the wrong symbol. $73,210 is less than $94,200. So we have to use $73,210. If it wasn't, we would have to use $94,200. So now we're going to calculate the tax, and the formula is given in the problem. It says Social Security tax was 6.2% of the income, up to 94200 So because of this, we can write, since we know that the Social Security tax was, as keyword for equals, 6.2% of the income, that is less than 94,200. So we know what the income that's less than 94,200. It is 73,210. Then we're gonna convert 6.2% to a number that we can use, move it in once, move it in twice. So that's 0 0.062. So 0 0.062 times 73,210 should equal my social security tax. So let's go ahead and calculate that. We're going to take 73,210 times 0 0.062, and we get $44,539.02. And that is our Social Security tax. That is how much was paid that year. Now, it wants it rounded to the nearest dollar. So we stop at the decimal sign. We look at 9, and then we look at 0. Since 0 is less than 5, we get to drop the end part, and we just get to keep $4,539 as the tax that we paid that year. 